On tour, I usually drive the most. It's definitely not built. There's no doubt about that. Nah, I tried driving the first night. I drank five hour energy and I was ready for like, I'm like three hours later. I pulled over and that was probably the last I ever drove. I don't think he's ever driven since. No. But he gets a little nervous. Big van, big trailer. You gotta be a real man about it, you know? I developed a phobia of going over bridges and I'm afraid to drive the van with the trailer attached to it. And I have no idea why. AJ will drive 20 hours, as does our tour manager. AJ drives the most um, on tour. We also got our manager, Tommy. Um, he does a lot of the driving. That would be you and, uh, and AJ. And I don't know really, AJ does a lot, Tommy does a lot. I think Tommy does longer stints sometimes, especially the hard stints where the band asleep and uh, Drew's asleep in the front seat. I'll be driving, Drew will be sitting in the passenger seat, he's all amped up, he's like, alright man, I'm gonna be your navigator and everyone else can sleep and whatever. And I look over and I'm like, alright Drew man, this is gonna be a great time. And he's sleeping. In like four seconds, the dude is out. Like, Drew! I, we need to drive. I need a navigator. And he's like, I wasn't sleeping. What are you doing? <laughs> Just because my eyes are closed, I look like I'm sleeping. And then he goes on the whole rant, and it's wonderful. And they do a fantastic job, even though I'm sleeping in the front seat. At least you admit it. <laughs> uh, Tommy's driving all night. We wake up in the morning, and we're at the venue, and Tommy's there, dead. I drive, or Tom Jones drives. That's it. I don't envy them. But without them, we wouldn't get to any venues, and we wouldn't, we wouldn't have a band, so thanks, guys. You gotta get that cup of coffee and zone in on the road. And believe me, there's a lot of road, and I can't wait till someone drives us around. But for now, I'll drive. It's all right. And I get to control the music, which is great. The day I turned 21, and the day we found a lawn from Adam Soul Fly Floor. Before we even got to our first show, I started running out of clothes. Because I kept putting on new clothes every day. Like, more, multiple times, yeah. So I put on a new shirt, like, three times a day. that these it's a privilege just as showers and laundromats are yeah totally we drew for three dollars you can take a tumble ride funny that I have my new glamour kill shirts right here Kyle Roger man look at this me and Kyle one time I was Falling from a burning building, he fought me. The building didn't make it, but Kyle saved me. And then he gave me these Glamour Kill shirts, the Vegas, Niagara Falls. We've had a lot of times, you know. And then he got me these Glamour Kill shirts. I just feel extra huge in my Glamour Kill shirts, you know. They make me look, look at that. I feel trim. I feel clean. I feel soft. I got fired from my job. My girlfriend dumped me. My parents threw me out of the house. I had a broken leg, and I was lying in a ditch in the rain. No clothes, <laughs> I'm just naked, all right? No money, nothing. And I, I see a hand reach out to pick me up, and it's Kyle Roger. As fate would have it, I'm at the laundromat, but my Glamour Kill shirt is not dirty. I don't need to wash it. But see, funny enough, someone was watching over me. And I'm like, Kyle, you're saving my life. And Kyle's like, that's what I do, man. As I'm feeling dirty and down, yeah. someone was really watching me. His name was Kyle Roger. Right. Hey, Roger. He's right there watching us. 
I couldn't have done it without Kyle. Kyle Roger is like my godfather. Actually, I've been dared to grow it out the whole tour, so. Oh, hell yeah. Anyway, I think Kyle works for Glamour Kills. <laughs> Kyle Rogue. Glamour Kills is awesome. Hey Rogue, he's the man. Oh my god. Awesome. Thanks. I know him. See, Kyle Rogue. Hooks me up with coffee. I told you. Hey, now Rogue. you have footage of it. When I was in that ditch, when it was raining, I had nowhere to go. Uh, no. My parents kicked me out. My girlfriend dumped me. Kyle Rogan picked up the pieces, man. They picked up the pieces. <laughs> As AJ always says, when he was in a ditch, his girlfriend broke up with him. Kyle Rogan was there to close him. Let me tell you something about Kyle Rogan. He's a stand up guy. Right? Look at this. Look at that. Glamour kills. I like it. Thanks, Kyle Roger. From Glamour Kills. It's opening a box and sorting t shirts. Non documentary worthy. I don't give a fuck about the box. <laughs> Let's kill the keyboard players. That's what they wanted to see. The visit to Glamour Kills was a lot of fun. Um, I must admit, I'd only seen uh, the pink sheet. Uh, the uh, visit to Glamour Kills was a lot of fun. Um, I'd only really seen the, uh, the image of the pink sheep. Oh, yeah, not a pink, not a sheep. I said pink that time, didn't you? No, he said sheep. Right? I said it again. <laughs> the visit down to Glamour Kill's office uh, was a lot of fun. I'd only seen the pink pig logo uh, before. Uh, Glamour Kill's is, uh, you know, it's pretty cool that over there. They have uh, these aisles were closed, and we got, you know, they let us get some free shirts, uh, free pants. You know, it was cool. They have offices there. We signed a bunch of stuff. And they have a really cool vision for their clothing line, kind of unlike anything I've seen. So we're excited to uh, continue to work with them as the years go on. Thanks, pretty. Yeah, Chris, what do you think? A little small. <laughs> Thanks, Chris.